talk to you about is how to take clones using the 8 site clone bucket I got from HTG Supply. Uh, I'm going to be doing this with rosemary. Here's my mother plant back here. You're going to get a branch and you want to make sure it's a few inches long. You're going to cut it off right below the node. And then you want to cut or rip off or with a scalpel or scissors the, some leaves down here because the new roots are going to grow out of where the leaves were. So you then make sure you dip this into your rooting compound. I'm using Hormex here. And you then open up your starter plug, put the branch into it like that. Make sure that the part where you cut the leaves off is below here. That's what's going to get wet and that's where the roots are going to come from. Simply put it into the bucket like that and in two weeks you should have some roots. What I have here is two different ways to take cuttings. I'm going to do a comparison. On the left here I have some rosemary cuttings that I took and I put them in the clone bucket and you can see the new pump and nozzle creates an environment where the plants are going to be continually wet but enough oxygen is going to get in there so that the plants can form roots. On the right here I have the plants in the starter plugs. They will absorb water and but also have enough oxygen in them to promote good rooting as well. So let's see which way is the better way to take cuttings. So let's see how our plants are doing. The nice thing about the clone bucket is that you can check on the roots. You can see here, no roots grown yet there. Ah, here we go. So you see the little roots growing right here. So then that's the nice thing. This is definitely going to be a successful cutting. You got lots of root growth here. We're going to let it go a couple more days. Now, unfortunately, the plugs are nice, but you really can't see oh, if there's root growth until it comes out. And here we have it. You see that little root growing out right there? So this is also another successful cutting. You've got a small little root growing out here. Now, one of the things they often suggest is to give these a little tug and see if they're rooting. I think that's kind of a dumb idea because if you have a tiny little root, you can damage it. But again, once you see roots growing out of here, like you see right here, this is a successful cutting. Okay, it's been two weeks. Now, when I take the lid off of the clove bucket here, you can look at that and you can see the roots growing here. We had eight out of eight, 100% rooting success, clone success. When we look at the seed or the starter plugs here, you can see that there is some root growth underneath here. And while the root growth isn't as good, I wasn't sure about this one, but you can see we do have a tiny little root growing right there. So we did also get eight out of eight or 100% success with the starter plugs. The roots are better developed in the clone bucket. So if you're going to do a lot of cloning, I think the clone bucket would be a good investment for you. If it's something you're going to do once in a while, you just want to start out, the, the starter plugs there are good for seed germination as well. So that might be something you can get those and use them for cuttings or germinating seeds. But the clone bucket was a little bit better, but we did have 100% success of cuttings with both. Mm -hmm.